Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Over the recent Christmas holiday, I actually had some downtime with my wife and daughters. And quite often we find ourselves looking at Christmas films or programs that we wanted to watch. However, with the wealth of viewing options available, we find ourselves switching between different applications until we finally found a platform that hosted the movie we wanted to watch. Now, this isn't a problem that's just isolated to the holiday I had. I've had it throughout the year. Is this series on Netflix? Is it on Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, all four? Add to that all of the channels that are available in the USA, Canada and worldwide, it can get pretty frustrating. Now, Just Watch is an iOS application that solves this issue. It's quite deep, so let's get looking. OK, I've downloaded Just Watch from the App Store and I'm going to open it for the first time now. Now, firstly, we have the option of creating an account. Now, you don't need to have a Just Watch account to use the application. However, it does offer one main advantage. We are able to create a watch list within the app. And if you create an account, it's going to allow that watch list to be synced to all of the devices that you use. You can skip this stage, however. But I am going to create an account and just to show you the process for this first setup. I've added an email address and created a password. And I just need to tick the privacy acceptance and then tap Create Account. I am asked if I would like to receive notifications about new content. Yep, why not? I love that. This, of course, triggers an iOS system pop-up to allow notifications, and I'll accept that one as well. Next, we need to select some movies and TV shows that we'd like so that Just Watch is able to curate some, some content for us. So I'm just going to go down the list here and just pick 10 random thumbnails. There, a couple more and then select Proceed. On this screen, we're going to be selecting the streaming services that we currently use. Now, the displays here are going to change dependent on the country that you're in. I'm in the UK, so I've got some unique services to me, such as SkyGo, All4, BBC iPlayer. So I'll select all of the ones that I've currently got access to. I've got Apple TV Plus as well. And tap Proceed. And now that we've set ourselves up, we are in the main application. Now, along the bottom, we have four tabs or sections. We're in the home section currently. And as I scroll down, the layout is very similar to other services such as Netflix or Amazon Prime Video that you probably use. If you see a title that you like, then tap on it. Now, I am a fan of Homeland, I have to say. I think this is a great series. So let's have a look and see if season eight's on the horizon. I'll scroll down a little and you can add the title to your watch list by tapping on the bookmark. Now, your watch list is simply a filtered view of titles that you would like to watch at some point. You can also tap the thumbs up button, and this will let Just Watch know that you like this type of program and to show you more series like this. Alternatively, you can tap the thumbs down button to do the opposite and adjust the algorithm accordingly. A little further down, we can see the different viewing options that are available to you. The promoted options are displayed in the yellow box at the top and the various different streaming and purchasing options are below. So if I wanted to stream Homeland now, I can do so with Netflix. And you can filter these options further to select just the standard definition, high definition or 4K options. That's just a quick preview of 